In this project, we have created automatic water level control using ESP32 ultrasonic sensor, SIM 800L, Firebase and customized MIT app. You can monitor the water level from your customized mobile application from anywhere in the world. Now the water level reducing and it cable to see in mobile phone. When it reaches 30% of the water level, motor will on automatically. Low level 30% or 20% or any other level can be updated without re-uploading the program through web server. Now the motor is turned on automatically after reaching 30%. Now water level is increasing slowly and you can able to see in mobile phone. Motor is turned off automatically after reaching 100% of the water level. Please watch full video to make this project. After reaching setting mode, you can able to see teach me something hotspot name in your mobile or laptop if you search the Wi-Fi signal. Hotspot name and password is given in program if you want to change them, change it. After connecting teach me something Wi-Fi hotspot, enter 192.168.4.1 in any browser. It will ask the login name, password your SIM card APN name, water tank height, auto on level, auto off level. Copy the Firebase link and paste in web server page. For Firebase setting I have done many videos, watch my previous video if you do not know how to set up Firebase. After pasting, delete the slash in the end of the link and also delete https colon double slash in first of the link. Copy the database secret key and paste in web server page. This is your SIM card APN name. I am using Airtel SIM card in India. So APN is airtelgprs.com. Next enter your water tank height value in centimeter. I am using small water tank for demo purpose. So my value is 20 centimeter. Next enter the low level percentage, which level reaches motor should turned on automatically. Next enter the high level percentage, 
which level reaches motor should turned off automatically. Click Save button to store all the values to your ESP32. This message should appear in the web page after click Save button. Otherwise your data may not saved to your ESP32. It not save the value. Again press the push button and restart the ESP32 to go for setting mode and repeat the all action which explained before. All the web page information stored to ESP32 and displaying in serial monitor. This web page setting should be done when the change is required or first time of the project starts. Now install the necessary libraries to work for this project. Choose your board and proper port number. If you do not know the port number, see in device manager. Click upload button to upload program to your board. After uploading open the serial monitor and choose the correct baud rate which is given program. Your SIM 800L should have 14.18 version or latest one. If software version is 13 series, this project will not work by using your SIM 800L. For check the SIM 800L version, use ATI command or watch my previous SIM 800L Firebase project video. Copy the Firebase secret key and paste in MIT app. And also copy the Firebase link and paste in MIT app. Now download mobile APK file and move the APK file to your mobile. Install the APK file in your Android mobile phone. It will not work any other phone like Apple. 